they are sending us checks. Yes, the government is sending us checks. And I'm sure you've probably heard it by now. We have been living in unprecedented times because we are in the midst of a pandemic. And that has led to the government rushing to find some relief for workers and to stimulate the economy. And I'm sure you've been wondering, what should you do with that money when you receive it? Well, I'm going to give you some ideas in this video on how you should spend your stimulus check. Hi, I'm Shane of The Well Vibe, and I create videos to help you eliminate debt, burn income, and build wealth. We are living in uncertain times, and I'm sure that none of us expected to be in the midst of a pandemic right now. And I'm even more sure that none of us was expecting a check from the federal government as relief due to the pandemic that we're in. So there's lots of uncertainty going on, especially with lots of people losing their jobs. And that might put you in a position where you're like, what do I even do with this check? So you might be in the position where you've already lost your job, or you might be on the verge of losing your job, or you might be on the other end of the spectrum and might be financially stable, and you don't know what to do with the money that is coming your way. Well, I'm hoping to provide some direction in these uncertain times. The Relief Act that will be going into effect due to the pandemic will provide individuals up to $1,200 and couples up to $2,400. Now, there are some income restrictions on this money. So if you are an individual who makes less than $75,000, you'll receive the full $1,200. However, if you make more than $75,000, the amount that you will receive will be scaled back up to a limit of $99,000. So if you make more than $99,000, you will not receive any money. And the same thing applies for couples, but it's multiplied by two. And if you have a child, you will also receive up to $500 per child that you have. Now, all of this is based off of what you filed on your income taxes. So if you filed your income taxes already for 2019, they'll be basing the money that you get based off of that 2019 tax return. But if you have not filed yet, they're gonna be basing all of this off of your 2018 tax return. And they're also going to be providing you the money via the information that you provided on those tax returns. So if you file via e-filing e and you set up a direct deposit with them, then you'll be getting your check via direct deposit. But if you file via paper and mail, you'll also be getting your check mail. So that's the money that you can expect to receive based off of the Relief Act. I'm going to break down what you should do based off of your current situation or what you think your situation might be. You have seen it. Lots of companies have already started massive layoffs. So a lot of people are finding themselves unemployed. And I feel you. I have been in the same situation before where I was unexpectedly unemployed. And so you are facing a lot of uncertainty about what to do. And although this money is coming your way, you're just kind of like, well, what do I do with this money now? What is the best course of action for me to put me in the best financial state, given that you're no longer employed? So my suggestion is that you do one of three things. The first priority when you get your stimulus check is to pay for all of your necessities such as food and housing if you do not have an emergency fund. You want to make sure that all of your bare minimum needs are taken care of. And normally I would add in transportation, but because a lot of us are sheltered in place or our cities are on lockdown and we are trying to avoid contact through physical distancing, we want to make sure that we're not going out. So transportation isn't really a need unless you want to make sure that you're paying your car payment so that your car is not repossessed. If you do have an emergency fund, I would first say use the money that you have on hand and use that money to get yourself into a, a foundation of having your bare necessities covered. In the early versions of the Pandemic Relief Act, some legislators were considering adding in protections or relief for Americans against some debts that they had, such as relieving credit card payments, mortgage payments, and even student loan payments. 
Unfortunately though, that has been completely removed from the bill and there are not any provisions to postpone payments on debts or to relieve or cancel any types of debts during this time. So unfortunately, you will still have to pay your debts during this crazy, wild pandemic that we're experiencing that is causing lots of people to lose their job and income and even their lives. The second thing that you could do if you're unemployed and you receive a stimulus check is to pay your debts to reduce your overall debt load. This can help you in several ways. When the restrictions on student loan payments and other debts are lifted in about three to six months, you wanna make sure that you're in a good place, especially if at that time you're unable to secure another job. You wanna make sure that you're in a good place with your, your debt. And so if you can try to either eliminate the debt that you have or try and pay it down so that your payments are a little bit more manageable, this will get you into a better position. So consider paying down debts if it's realistic for where you are, given the money that you may have on hand with your emergency fund and the money that you have coming in through the stimulus check. Another thing that you can do if you're unemployed and you receive a stimulus check is to build your emergency fund. If you have been anywhere on social media, people are talking about how $1,200 is not enough money. And I will totally admit that. And I actually did a video recently, which you can check out here, that talks about how your emergency fund needs to be more than $1,200, especially for many people who are living in high cost of living areas, or just our adults living in 2020. $1,200 doesn't get us very far in these times. So if you can add that $1,200 or $2,400 if you're a couple to build up your emergency fund to help you get through this, or if you're able to get a new job and that will allow you to weather the storm if another emergency or unexpected time were to come, that will really help you out a lot. So consider adding the money that you receive from your stimulus check to build up your emergency fund, even if you're unemployed. Now, there are many people who still have jobs, but they are really concerned about whether or not they're still going to have a job in the next day, the next week, or even months. Because a lot of people or a lot of jobs are being deemed non-essential. And every day we see new companies saying that they have laid off hundreds of workers. And so you might be feeling like that any day now you might be unemployed as well. So there are a few things that you can do with your stimulus check to help you out if you're kind of in this uncertain kind of you know, weird position where you have a job, but you don't know how much longer you will have a job. If you feel like you are on the verge of losing your job, the priority for you is to build up your emergency fund when you receive your stimulus check, because you wanna build up a cushion that's going to last you for a few months. Now, we have no idea how long this pandemic will last. But we do know that typically it takes a few months for someone to find a new job. So you want to make sure that you build up your emergency fund to sustain your necessities like food and housing for the next few months should you happen to lose your job. And just in case this pandemic, God forbid, tends to go on for much longer than we would like for it to go on. So make sure that you build up your emergency fund so that you can put yourself in a better position should you lose your job. Now, if you have an emergency fund, you might also wanna consider paying down your debts because while you are tapping into your emergency fund, if you have to pay off debts, you're going to decrease the available cash that you have to yourself. So if you have some debts that you can pay off with that $1,200 or $2,400, you wanna make sure that you do that. That way you have more cash available to you should you lose your job and you have to tap into your emergency fund. So it's just helping you to build a good cushion for yourself as well in that situation. Although there are income limits on the money that you can receive through the Pandemic Relief Act, there are some people who are financially stable. They have an emergency fund, they have lots of money that they can pull on, and they will be okay with or without a job. And so some people who are in this circumstance, and if you are, that is amazing if you're in this circumstance, they might still receive a check. 
And they might be wondering, well, what do I do with this check because I don't really need it. So I have a few ideas for what you can do if you find yourself in this good position. The wisest thing that you can do with the money is to invest. This is an awesome time to invest in the market because a lot of the stocks are still on discount. Although I did see that we had the best market day yesterday since 1933, this is an awesome time to buy stocks because they are at a discount and you can possibly see really large gains from the stocks that you buy. So this is a way to even increase your wealth by using the money that the government is sending to you through the Stimulus Relief Act. So that is an awesome thing that you can do with the money that will potentially put you in even a better position in the future. A lot of people are looking for ways to help during this crisis that we're in. And one way that you can help if you are financially stable and still find yourself with a relief check that you don't know what to do, you can actually donate the money to other people who are in need because there are lots of people who are going to be inundated with expenses that they cannot afford because they have lost their jobs and or maybe even lost their businesses so you might want to consider donating money either to someone that you know in that situation or maybe going on websites like GoFundMe or things like that where people are probably going to be posting the needs that they have and how you can help them out with the money that you've received. And I think this is an awesome way of using the money if you have the means and ability to do that because you will be able to help out someone who is really struggling during this time. As I mentioned earlier, the government wants you to spend in order to stimulate the economy. So this might be an opportunity where you can actually spend some money from the stimulus check in order to help out the economy. So you might want to consider buying things that you need or even things that you want to be able to help out with that effort. Now here is a sticky situation. As I was reading the bill, I noticed that there was a section that explained that some people may need to repay the money that they received due to the Pandemic Relief Act. Now you might be in this situation if in 2018 and 2019 you filed tax returns where you were making below the income limits such as the $75,000 for individuals or $150,000 for couples that will make you eligible for this money. But if in 2020 your income exceeded that amount, the government would ask for you to repay that money because in these current times you actually don't need it based off of how they're you know evaluating the situation so if you end up in a situation where in previous years or the tax returns that they're basing these disbursements on if you are in a situation where you made less money in 2018 or 2019 but now in 2020 you make more money and you happen to receive money from the pandemic relief act you just want to save the money put it in a high yield interest savings account and don't touch it you'll be able to earn a couple of dollars maybe actually just coins but you'll be able to make you know something a couple of cents off of it and when tax time comes around you'll be able to withdraw that money from your savings account and then give it back to the federal government. So that was a little, you know, sticky situation that I found in the bill and something that you will need to consider if you are in this, you know, weird predicament, which I actually will find myself in as well. So you just save the money if you're in this situation. Those are the ideas that I have for how to use your pandemic relief check in these uncertain times to help you to get through it. And I'm sure that these times have drove home the necessity of having an emergency fund. Now, if you want to learn more about how to build up your emergency fund, you want to check out this video right here and make sure that you're subscribed so that I can see you in the next video. And I hope that you're doing well during all this craziness and stay healthy.